And here comes the architect. Seth freaking Rollins, the King Slayer, the architect, undeniably one of the best superstars WWE has seen this generation. The following contest is a triple threat Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. Seth Rollins has made a Seth career Rollins. out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner. Debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. The King Slayer set for action. family legacy as a badge of honor that fuels his confidence that cannot be broken. One of the workhorses of WWE proudly feels that he carries this business on his broad shoulders and will continue to do so well into the future. Now Roman has that swagger. Roman has that confidence. And Roman has that message to the entire roster of WWE. If you think you can stop me, try. Yeah, good luck with that. Go ahead, Byron, try. Uh, I'm good. One of the most dominating superstars of recent era. You can go ahead and say it, Cole, of all time. Here comes the lunatic fringe. And from Cincinnati, Ohio, weighing in at 225 pounds, the NXT champion, Dean. He can be technically savvy. He can brawl with the best. Dean Ambrose, he's an anomaly. No, he's not, Byron. He's nuts. You know, I don't know what it is about this guy that captivates the WWE Universe. Quite frankly, to me, Dean Ambrose looks like a guy that hasn't showered in about a month. There is no rhyme or reason for why Dean Ambrose does what he does, but that's why people like him, Corey. Roman says he's the guy. Seth says he's the man. Something has to give tonight. This is about claiming territory, Michael, about who is the true alpha male in the WWE. 
And guys, you can almost literally feel the electricity in the air for this Hell in a Cell match. Talking about being the alpha male in WWE, that comes with the responsibility to prove it night in and night out. Who is more suited for that challenge? Well, if you ask Roman Reigns, he'll tell you he's the big dog. If you ask Seth Rollins, he'll say he's the future. If bravado was the main ingredient, these two would be in high supply. Lights out, DDT connects. Face Buster! Man, that was vicious. At the oh, oh my goodness, crushing it! Oh, and a backbreaker! Right to the spine. Looking to hurt him. Oh, my God. Shoulder breaker. That could cause long-term damage. Ooh, just dropped. Ambrose starting to struggle now. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but for me, there is no greater thrill than being at the announce desk for a Hell in a Cell match. Slammed with authority. It is not looking good for Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins in trouble! The architect in a world of hurt. Rollins has to change something fast. You know, I'm a little surprised, Corey, to hear you talk about the thrill of announcing a Hell in a Cell match, considering you were there when Shane McMahon shattered the announce desk at Hell in a Cell 2017. I was there too, Michael, and I'll tell you, I will never look at Hell in a Cell matches the same after that. You were? Schoolboy. Uh oh. Big suplex. Gentlemen, I think we can all agree that we've seen some pretty special moments over the years. But for me, few were more special than getting the opportunity to call the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match back in October of 2016. Recalling that first ever women's Hell in a Cell match, I gotta say, the ovation Sasha Banks received that night was among the loudest I've ever heard, but I didn't remember you actually calling the match. Yeah, that's what happens when you compete in your hometown, Cole, but ovations can only get you so far. Leg is hooked. Here we go. Perfect plex. Now that's how you make a statement. Roman Reigns' chances just went from bad to worse. Digging deep for a kick out. And we continue. Real quick, let's remind everybody that there are no rules inside of Hell in a Cell, meaning the referee's sole job in this match is to call for the bell following a three count or submission. Oof. Stationary position, turns around. Oh, a moonsault. Incredible agility. He could do it here. Just as important as Byron's point about there being no rules inside the cell, the same holds true for outside the structure. As we've seen many times in the past, superstars don't always stay within the cell. No, they don't, Cole. In fact, a lot of times you'll see them competing on top of the cell of all places. Big forearm smash. The lunatic fringe has him right where he wants him. Bang! Dirty deeds. What an assault on... Here's a cover. The cover. And this one's history. What a win. Triple Tets always deliver three times the action, and that one was no exception. Take a look. And this is how he ended it. Here is your winner, Dean Ambrose. Big victory for him here in this one. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. And that carnage that we just saw is a lot of the reason why you don't see many Hell in a Cell matches. As we just witnessed, 
They're incredibly dangerous, folks. 